how are you doing? Uh, thank you for your condolences. I'm, you know, I, it's it's been a, a challenge um, to coming to terms with the fact that he's taken from us. You know, my my father um, was was a fighter, and you know, for me, it just it it sort of puts an exclamation point on just how dangerous this virus is. Um, and and how many people's lives are being stolen by it, and how seriously we need to take it in um, in not just you know urging people to wear um, masks, but testing and tracing. Um, you know, my my father was an avid mask wearer, um, and you know he he was quite frustrated at times. Um, when he would briefly step out that, you know, he would encounter people without a mask and, um, and, you know, it's just, it's a reminder that we don't wear the mask for ourselves. We wear it for the protection of others as well. Mm -hmm. And so when others wear it, then they're protecting us. And so it's a reciprocal thing that we do as a community to keep each other safe. And, um, and, and I just know that the people he came into contact with, if they were wearing a mask, um, that his his life would have would have been saved, and he would have still been here with us. And so, I just hope that people yeah. take that seriously, um, yeah. and our leaders continue to urge people to take it seriously and wear masks themselves as well. Well, I'm 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 really really sorry that this happened uh, to him, to you, to your family. Um, the you know from what I I know of you and of course we've met and spoken before you um your your mother I believe died when you were very young around yeah he was he was mostly my my mother and father and so this this is yeah um, a, a real loss very hard one 